Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Dipanshu Goswami, your host. And today I am going to tell you about what actually happened with Humayun and why is he called as the luckless leader. I'll tell you about it. First, I am going to tell you about Humayun. Humayun was the son of Babur. If you don't know who is Babur, I'll remind you. Babur was the first ruler of the Mughal Empire. When we talk about Humayun, Humayun ruled from 1530 to 1540 and from 1555 to 1556. Now, come to the point. Now, I am going to tell you what actually happened with Humayun. Humayun was the king who had many battles. He had the battle with Shir Shah in 1532 and battles with Bahadur Shah in 1534 and captured Gujarat and Malwa. Because of these battles, Humayun did not get much time to build upon his victories and when he tried to have a battle with Shir Shah, he was defeated. Because this time Shir Shah's army was very powerful because he regrouped his army and defeated Humayun at Chausa in 1539 and Kannauj in 1514. Shir Shah was very angry with Humayun as he was defeated by Humayun at the first battle. So he chased Humayun out of his own kingdom but Humayun was not there he has gone to Persia for 15 years of exile time passed and passed and about 15 year passed this time the Sur empire became weak due to the main powerful ruler Shesha has resigned supreme in India Humayun returned to India in 1555 After some time Shir Shah had died this caused the Sur empire to become weak taking this advantage Humayun fought and recaptured the territories which he had lost Humayun became the Mughal ruler once again After few days Humayun fell from the steps of his library in Sher Mandal unfortunately he died That is why he is known as the luckless leader Hey guys like my channel if you enjoyed it and please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more updates thank you